Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Alpha uh, ABS video tutorials. In this episode, we're going to be pretty much covering uh, weapons and how to set them up. The last episode, we covered um, skills and before that, we covered the overview for skills, weapons and items, which I definitely do encourage you guys to watch before you come to this weapons video. Make sure you watch the overview video first. Um, so, uh, without further ado, before you guys do continue watching this, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Um, that way you could be updated every time I release a new video. And also make sure to hit that bell notification icon to be notified when I do release a video. Alright, let's get into this. So, um, weapons are pretty much easy to set up once you've already set up your skill number one. Okay, now to actually set up the weapons, right? There's two types of weapons you could set up in the game. One is your melee and the other is your range, right? So in order to set up a melee weapon, all you have to do is add ABS zero to your weapons, right? Um, let me go ahead and get rid of that reload time because I don't think that works for weapons, right? Um, after you add the ABS zero, you could pretty much keep everything else the same. Now for me personally, it's kind of a tip for you guys. You know how there's different weapon types what i normally like to do is uh, for example if it's a um if it's a whole bunch of melee weapons like for example the dagger the sword and the axe um to kind of differentiate between those different weapons i like to have the weapon actually modify my attack speed right so normally what i would do is i would come over here to weapons um go to attack speed and change it to a negative number so for example if it's my sword I'll change it to like maybe negative 60 so all that means is actually let me go back to skills so if you could look at my um, skill number one which is your basic attack that all your weapons will be based off of um, you could see that I use a reload perimeter of attack speed so that's how fast the skill will be ready to be used again after you use it so the cooldown time right so the cooldown time of this skill is based off of your attack speed so if we go back to whipping when i actually do it i you know modify the attack speed to be a little bit faster the lower the number the faster it is the higher the number the slower um, it is right and then after you set the abs to zero you could literally leave everything else default or you could change it how you would in the default battle system uh so next is pretty much your let me copy paste the next is pretty much your range weapons so let's go ahead and change that from abs 0 to 1 so range weapons are based off of the vector so that's abs 1 and again since it's being based off of the vector you could also change the image to whatever you want let's call this arrow because i do believe i have an arrow yep it's already there so now we have those um now they both say short sword but um let me actually just change this real quick then let's go to actor so i already got the short sword and then let's put the chest right here so now if we actually go into in game As long as we're next to the enemy, we can then use our attack. Now the reload time is again based off of my attack speed minus 60. Um, so it's a little bit slow. So let me actually come back over here, change this attack speed to 100. Actually, let's make it 200. So it's not as slow. So as you can see it's a little bit faster and as long as I'm next to the enemy, the attack will always happen. Now let's pick up the bow. Now um, one thing to take note is when you are in battle mode, you cannot use your, um, your menu. So let me uh, equip the short bow. Now we could actually attack the enemy. Now it still shows the sword animation mainly because depending on the type. Oh yeah, this is kind of a hidden thing in the system that I had to figure out myself. I don't know if it's documented anywhere, but I had to figure it out myself. 
So you know where it says weapon types and you have your um, dagger, sword, frail, axe, whip and so on. When you're making a brand new game, I highly encourage you to leave those um, the way they're already listed. Now, if you don't have a frail in your game or however you say that, you just delete it. If you don't have a whip, you just delete it. But if you have a sword, a dagger, an axe, always make sure that they're default because when the coder coded the game, I'm guessing, or I don't know how to change this. I tried to figure out how to change it and I could never figure out how to change it. But based on the weapon type, a different animation, I mean, um, you will actually see the weapon in game. So the reason why you were seeing the sword when I use my bow is because the weapon type is set to sword. Now, if I change that to bow and go back in game, and as you can see, you could actually see the little bow icon. You might have to like kind of put your head to the screen, but you could definitely see the bow icon as you know he's shooting. So that's how you do your range and your melee. Right? Now if you want your bows to use um if you want your bows to use ammo like arrows, all you have to do uh I could actually just type it in because I know it by heart. Uh go to weapons, go to short bow. And then you could add in this command called ammo colon and then whatever item um, you want to use for your ammo. So for example, if I want to use an arrow, I don't have any arrows. So let's make this an arrow. Let's make this look like hearts because arrows look like hearts to me. <laughs> um, so ammo, let's change that to two because we want it to be that. Press OK. Uh, let's make another chest here. Next. Game. So if I get my bow, hit equip, equip, short sword, I mean short bow. As you can see, it can't use no charges, right? And then if I actually do get my arrows, as you can see at the right there it says 99 because I have 99 arrows. Now I can actually shoot the enemy. And it's also. I'm um, sorry about that. And it's also using up ammo. Also, <clears throat> for those of you who does want um, knockback in your game, there is another perimeter that you can add called impulse. If I can just find something that uses. It. So impulse is pretty much your knockback in the um, in the ABS. So for example, if I add, let's go to short bow and let's add impulse and let's change that number to something ridiculous like five. Right, so that means the knockback is five if we go back in game. Now also do take note that um, if you have a, the impulse is kind of a little bit buggy while well, in this version anyways, cause even if you do have a wall and a top that the enemy isn't supposed to pass through, you could still kind of knock them into that um, position. So it's potentially game breaking. So if I just go ahead and attack, as you can see, it's not going to knock him back anymore because he's being stopped by this tree. So that's impulse. It's, I can't remember where I found it like that, you know, actual note tag from, um, but you know, I'm throwing it in there for you guys, just in case you do want knock back in your game. Um, so now that we know how to set up our melee and our range weapons, let's talk about the no target weapons. Um, so no target means, um, let me pretty much get back in game here. So by default, whenever I, uh, you know, click on the enemy, all I have to do is press a once and the, um, actor will actually auto attack every time the cooldown reaches all the way down to zero. So it's auto attacking at this moment. If you don't want that and you actually want more control over when you attack and when you don't attack. All you have to do is just add no target colon one. Um, that pretty much turns it on. So for example, if I go back to my database, actually short bow, actually short sword is better because I already have it equipped. If I change no target to one, when I actually go back in game, I no longer have, you know, it's no longer auto attacking. 
it only attacks when I press A and also let me change the reload time 160 to make it like only 40 frame so as you can see only when I press A it attacks I don't actually need a target anymore in order to have this um, sword activate um, even if I'm not if I don't have him selected it will automatically select once I actually do hit the enemy as you can see still in that and then I could also add an impulse there we go there's a couple of more perimeters that you guys do need to take note of that you could add to your weapons um, those are range so for example if you have a spear um, you can make it actually attack an enemy that's two tiles away from you three tiles away from you and it's pretty much up to what you want um, another one is um, Pierce which only works when you have range um, Activated or when your weapon has range so Pierce means it's piercing through those enemy and this one means it's turning it on so Pierce on so that means if you have an enemy so let's say you have two enemies in front of you and you have range to two and you also have pierce turned on that means it would actually attack both enemies in front of you as you can see in this picture down below the other one is swing which um you mainly want to use for your swords and um, slashing weapons or whatnot all that means it is attacking all the enemies that's actually in front of you um and you can't use swing and range because it's not compatible so, um, you know, to kind of demonstrate, oh, I can't really, do oh, yeah, I can't demonstrate that. So, let me see. If I do swing, minimize this, go back to my sword, apply, apply, and then let's just copy this guy. I don't want to front funnel them through that. See, it's attacking both of those actual guys. As long as they're in front of the player they'll get attacked all right so the final thing um that we pretty much have to talk about is ranged um weapons so like um so let's say you're not talking about bows and you want to actually use guns um so you know how each gun will probably have like a magazine of like 30 rounds so you could actually do that too with this um battle system so all you would need to do is take these two perimeters here one is stack and x and i'll actually show you what that does once i open so stack is pretty much how much each uh, magazine can hold so for example if i set this to 30 actually you know let's set this to five right so that means after every five shots you have to reload stack time is pretty much how long it will take to actually reload ammo so if i change this to 10 frames enter save and run okay so now um since we have the stack time i mean stack to five and um time i actually changed it from 10 to 240 because 10 was way too fast so if one two three four five and i'm still tapping it nothing is happening because i'm reloading now i just reloaded now it's gonna happen again now i just gotta wait for it one two three four five so yeah pretty much if you want to reload in your game that's how you do it you just put stack and then the number of magazine that you want or how many rounds you want to have in each shot um and then you also have the stack time which is actually the reload time for the gun or whatever you're making so that's it for this video um now later on i'm gonna make a separate video on let me actually pull it up here just to kind of show you guys how to do the motion system um, so you could actually have um, your characters be more animated and you could actually see whatever uh, weapon that they're carrying on hand but that's a little bit more advanced and we'll be covering that in the future um, but yeah that's pretty much it if you guys like the video make sure to hit the subscribe I mean well if you like the video definitely hit the subscribe button because I would definitely be having a whole lot more videos for you guys um, so also hit that thumbs up button to let me know that you liked it or if you disliked it hit the thumbs down button because that definitely helps me know what you guys um if you guys are liking the videos or not liking the videos um i definitely have some more videos coming up soon the next video will be pretty much how to set up your items and then after that we're going to jump into enemies and go from there uh thank you guys again for watching peace